Hello, my friends, and welcome to MTD North America. Today, I'm CP Carrillo, and I'm with my friend Snake, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about Kitamura and how Kitamura has helped generate continued success since 1998 with CP Carrillo. Now, Peter, or Snake, started in 1998 with three people. Two of those, his brothers, the third one being himself. He now has over 175 people working here and a whole bunch of Kitamura machines. So Snake, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. My pleasure and thanks for coming. So let's talk a little bit about Kitamura and maybe let's start with the first one and the growth of Kitamura since then within CP Carrillo. Well, the first one we bought was in the early 2000s and we actually bought that machine used and got our feet wet with that one got hooked and uh, bought 17 more and have one more on order that we're taking possession of at the end of this month. Started with a new, or started with a used one. Yep. Almost 20 years ago. Yep. Still running to this day quite effectively and you said 17 more since then? That's correct. So what inspires you to continue going with the Kitamura product? Well, everybody has a choice, right? But uh, for us, uh, really made sense for the company. Uh, the machines are very accurate. I feel that they're for the price, they're a great bargain. And probably more importantly, as importantly, is the service. So uh, we run 24 hours a day here, as we talked about earlier. We can't really afford when a machine goes down to be without. So. Uh, in total, we probably have 90 machines. Kitamura is a large part of that and it'll be a large part as we move forward as well. well I, I want to talk a little bit more about, you mentioned the precision of the machine is important. You mentioned you know running 24 hours a day is important in service, but let's start with the precision. So CP Carrillo, what do you guys make that requires this type of precision? Well, we're making uh, pistons and connecting rods basically for the racing community. We also do uh, a lot of OEM projects as well. So with the precision that we need, Kitamura fits our business model perfectly. Very accurate. These newer machines like the one that we're looking at here, very fast, uh, very accurate, very dependable. And that's, that fits our business model perfectly. Talking with some of your inspection team, they mentioned the numbers, kind of threw them out there, less than five micron, eight micron. Some of these parts need extremely high tolerance. And this Kitamura machine, they pretty much, they're pretty much dead on, right? When it comes to getting that part off of the machine. Absolutely, very capable of those tolerances. So we're very, very pleased with that. And you mentioned to me as well, and you t said this just a few minutes ago, service. Service is so important in the world we work in, and we all have that frustration when a spindle goes down, we know we're losing money. And you're running 24 hours a day, so if your spindle goes down, service is incredibly important. What has the Kitamura team done for you guys over the last 20 years to show you that support? Well, that's a large, that's a large part of the reason why we keep coming back. So if there is everything that goes wrong, we use our stuff. I mean, like you mentioned, 24 hours a day, and uh, not quite seven days a week, but we also work a Saturday shift as well. So we use our stuff and uh, the service department at Kitamura is wonderful. M more times than not, it's same day service for us and that really makes a huge difference. We have other machines, I'm not gonna mention any brand names where, you know, they gotta fly a guy in from back east or, and you know, after you pay for the plane ticket and the hotel room and everything else, add that to your service fee adds up after a while. Yeah, that's massively important. And talking with our good buddy Andy, he mentioned we try to be a same day service, right? So when you guys make a call, they're here to support you. They are, we really appreciate that. Andy has been just wonderful for our company. It's a great team they have over there. As far as the capability of machining horizontally, what kind of benefits has that offered your company versus a standard vertical mill or something like that? Well, we started off with vertical mills and then migrated into the horizontal. So, uh, great, uh, great transition. Uh, you could just get so much more done. And one guy can run two or three of these machines at the same time. And the machines are capable of doing what we used to do on three different machines. They can do that 
in one operation and then one guy runs several machines. I know we have 175 people, but if we were doing this on verticals, we'd probably have, you know, 300 and something. So, that's, yeah, that's a valid right? point, Snake. I mean, yeah. you talk about taking three operations, reducing it into one operation, and of yeah. those three operations, one person can run several machines. I mean, doing that kind of math. Yeah, And we out. talked about this earlier as well. The way that you guys are able to compete, and a lot of companies here in the U.S. are similar, is we need to figure out how to keep these spindles running. Kid right. Amura is great at that, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And like I mentioned earlier also, being in California, we need every advantage we can get, you know, as far as trying to make parts, good parts, at a reasonable price. And when we can work 24 hours a day, that really helps. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely agree. And Kid Amura as a whole, so we got service, we got precision, we know these machines are reliable day in and day out. You mentioned your very first one was a used machine, and for the most part, hasn't needed any maintenance since you purchased it, right? I don't think we've ever put a spindle in that thing, and we run it, you know, we run it hard. So it's been great. Well, Snake, we've talked a lot about how important it is for you to run 24 hours a day, all week long. You're trying to, you know, with, with some of the higher overheads, we got to get as much product out the door as possible. I'd imagine the Kitamura pallet change system has been really supportive in doing so. Is that correct? Well, it is. Like I mentioned, one guy can run several machines. And, you know, for people that aren't familiar with that system, you basically load it in the front. It's machining parts inside the machine. And when that pallet's done, it puts the fresh parts in. The machine parts come out. So you're never down. You're, the machine is always running. That's important, I, and I've heard this story a lot from a lot of people, and to keep that spindle running... It's paramount, yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely everything, necessary. right? Absolutely necessary, yes, absolutely. Well, with all of these great horizontal machines and pallet changers, and we know that Kitamura can continually add on, not just to the pallet changers, but also the tools as well, if you need more tools in your machine. Yeah. Is there really a need, you have 18, about to have 19, is there really a need for vertical machining anymore? Well, uh, our next machine is going to be a vertical. So. Well, there we go. Yeah, we decided to get the My Trunion as a 20,000 RPM spindle. And it's going to be pretty specific in its use for what we're going to use it for. It's for a special project, and it's, uh, it's going to work out great. We're really excited about it. So although these... All of these horizontal Kitamura machines have given you great benefit. There's still a desire for that vertical machine, and you just have specific projects that must be done in that way. Absolutely. It's a five-axis project, and it's a five-axis machine. And uh, we looked at several different brands, and we always come back to Kitamura. As you should, when you've talked about the incredible service that they've given you over two decades at this point, and the machine's not going down, we stick to what we trust, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love hearing that kind of testimonial. You also mentioned to me before, which I think is great insight for those uh, viewers who are watching right now, is you believe that the type of quality the Kitamura machine gives you, but the price point that it comes with is a really, you know, a bang for your buck kind of a machine. It pays itself back fairly quickly. Absolutely. Couldn't be, couldn't be more pleased with the quality and the price. We always feel like we're getting a good deal. So in doing so, you've now decided to go with 17, which I think we've discussed already, and that's incredible. But I'd like to learn a little bit more about your company and how you started Snake. I know we started you, two brothers, but you've also mentioned the great relationships of people that have worked with you since the mid-70s that kind of still do, and maybe even their kids or grandkids as well. Tell us a little bit about CP Carrillo for those who want to learn about your company. Okay, well, it was founded by myself and my two brothers in 1998, just the three of us. And uh, we've been in the same line of business, making racing pistons since the mid-70s. So this was a new venture for us, starting our own company. It was very exciting. Uh, we were funded and partnered with a company called Pankel in Austria. It's been a great relationship for us, or a great partner, and a very high technology company. So we share things back and forth, which works out great. And uh, the company has grown very rapidly, and you know, thanks to Kitamura and other companies like that that we've you know gotten software from and robotics and other things it's really really helped our company immensely 
Well, I've had the great privilege, guys, to actually have a tour of CP Carrillo, and you'd be amazed. If you have the opportunity, I highly recommend you stopping by as well. Multitudes of machines, a little bit of automation, robotics, obviously a ton of Kitamuras. Three people to now 170 plus, 175 over a transition of 20 years in the, in the automotive, different sectors of the automotive industry. Yeah. We can actually give a little shout out to our friend, friend Tony Saloom, who you seem to know as well. Yeah, I know Tony well. Yeah. Good guy. Uh, and, and, and so you guys have worked together for a lot of years also. Probably 15 years. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. So when you first started, were you in your basement, a garage, a small building? And what have you grown into today? Yeah, we've started, we started in a 1,500 square foot building, half office, half shop. Proved out what we needed, what we needed to prove on paper and, you know, got all of our forgings designed up in, in, in uh, SolidWorks. And uh, it's just been a, a great transgression as we, you know, a transformation as we've moved forward. Uh, got our current building, which was 32,000 square feet, in the year 2000. So now we've kind of morphed into two 32,000 square foot buildings, another 20,000 square foot building, and we manufacture in all three of those buildings. Plus, uh, I think we have another 5,000 square foot of office space. All on the same block. We wish it could be one building, but it works out. Well, I love hearing success stories like that, especially from people as as humble and as friendly as you are. You've been nothing but you know a great host showing me around your facility. So congratulations there. What do you see for the future of CP Carrillo? Well, the OEM is becoming a larger and larger portion of our company. And uh, it's a way to grow a company fairly rapidly uh, if you have the right connections and you have the right equipment. So guys, Peter is not going to share with me how he got his cool nickname, Snake, but he did say that he used to do a bit of drag racing when he was younger. You still into any of that? Uh, not so much. I mean, more of a spectator, but, uh, you know, it's all good. But you guys really do support the industry when it comes to most any kind of racing, right? That's what CP Carrillo is all about, is yes. these complex parts, multitudes of parts that kind of ship out hundreds or thousands every single day uh, all over the world? All over the world, yes. We believe in distributorship here, so basically we sell not so much to the end user as we do companies like VAC, who are large distributors, and uh, we make parts up in volume for those distributors. They in turn send it to a dealer or a retail outlet, and either with their e-commerce or right from their shops. Well, I, you're never going to retire, right? We, I think we're going to need you in this industry for a lot longer. I'll be around for a while. I've been doing this since the mid-70s, so, but I'm not planning on going anywhere soon, that's for sure. Well, Love thank you do. for doing that since the mid-70s. Your company is, I mean, I'm amazed by what you guys are accomplishing here. Thank you for showing me around and educating me. For those out there watching right now and saying, you know, I could... I could probably use some of these products. How would they find you? Are you on social media? What's your website? How can people look you up? So we can be found on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course on the web at www.cp-carrillo.com. Well guys, really a great company. Uh, reach out to my friend the snake here and learn a little bit more about CP Carrillo. Uh, Snake, thank you for spending time with me and teaching me a little bit more about what you guys do. Thank you, Tony. Sure appreciate it.